Hello again and welcome to another Black Templar Friday. So, for those of you that don't know, Black Templar Friday is a very occasional video series that I do. It's not every Friday where we just have a bit of a relax, bit of a chat, nothing too serious, a bit more of a laid back approach, I would say. And it's a lot less structured, it's more of a stream of consciousness, and it's just where I just talk about stuff that I've been doing through the week and anything interesting in general. Um, and it's a chance for you guys uh, to sort of share any comments you want to put down there of just cool stuff that you've done. Maybe you've had an epic battle, maybe you've got some stuff painted up, maybe anything, anything it doesn't have to be Warhammer related, maybe you just had like a really good day at work, something. it doesn't really matter, I mean preferably Warhammer related, this is a Warhammer channel, but if you've got something awesome to talk about, then you've got something awesome to talk about. So, this this week has been a bit of a, a bit of a bit of an interesting one for me. Um, I've been uh, getting back into the Black Templars is what's prompted me to do this video as well. So, essentially, what it is, guys, is, is a few weeks ago, months ago, perhaps, I put up the video about the Black Tide. I finally had a big push as part of a bolter and chainsword um, event. I had a big push to finally complete my black tide. And I did it. I have 100 marines now. Well, I've got 60, 60 tactical marines, 60 initiates, 40 neophytes. But I've got a, got a big old load of marines now, which is really good. And I sort of, I built them all, and I base coded them all, and then I played like three or four games with them. And then they took a bit of a back seat because obviously I was building and painting a lot of my uh, Armageddon Steel Legion, who I've been trying to get more battle reports, and, but I've been struggling at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I sort of so I put the Black Tide to one side. <laughs> black Tide to one side. But um, it, the urge has come back, basically. It's just a... The, I, I definitely, I go, th I go through cycles of like building and painting and playing so sometimes i'll go through like three four weeks and i won't like maybe i won't build or paint anything i'll just be playing games like three get three games a week kind of thing getting as much practice as possible and then i'll get a little burnt out i'll get a little burnt out and i'll be like ah oh, i'm just gonna go down to like one game a week now um and then when that happens i'm like i'm just gonna focus on painting stuff and then i'll absolutely like I'll paint and paint and paint and paint and paint. And then, I'll, then I'll be like, oh, I can't bother painting anymore. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So it definitely goes through phases in terms of what I like to paint and what I don't like to paint and stuff like that. Um, and, but I've been, obviously I've been building and painting my Gene Stealer cult recently. Um, but I'm taking a lot of care over those models. I'm taking a lot of care. I'm not back to painting them. I'm not back to painting any of them. They're all getting painted individually from start to finish. Um, which means they're taking a long time. It means I really can only get like one guy done in a night. Uh, but I sort of, I decided that it was time to get back on the Black Templars because there's another uh, Bolton Chainsaw event called ETL. I'm not entirely sure what it stands for. And I, I, I've, did, I've decided that I am going to paint up my Black Tide for that event. So I've got 40 Marines already painted. Fully, 100%, 40 Marines painted. All close combat marines. I've got until this weekend. I had, well, should I say this week? I had uh, like twenty other infantry sort of with shot. Fifteen other infantry with shoulder pads done. But that obviously leaves me with like forty-five guys that need painting. And so all I've done this week, I kid you not, all I've done for like the last three days is paint white shoulder pads. I have painted. 40 white shoulder pads i just batch painted for it because i because i had my technique i was in my groove i had the rhythm so all i did was just paint shoulder pads after shoulder pads after shoulder pads and i'm kidding you not, I, I kid you not all i've done all week is paint white and white shoulder pads so yeah i'm a little bit out from doing that i've still got i've done how many have i actually one minute i've got one two i've got one two three four five six normal guys left and I've got five scouts, so it's 11. And then I've got, um, that's all, I've got 11 white shoulder pads left to do. Um, and then I've got my sword brothers. And my sword brothers uh, have red shoulder pads, so they don't need, um, they, they don't need, uh, they'll, they'll get painted individually. But, oh my God. 
I've got a really good technique now. The white is coming out very, 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 very crisp. But my God, it just it's 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 not not mind numbing as such. It's it's quite. It's just it just burns you out doing that. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna leave the white shoulder pads for now. Uh, leave the black temper because I got three months to paint these guys up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do basically during the week I'm gonna paint Jeeves and Occultists and then at the weekend I'm gonna paint Black Templars. Or paint white shoulder pads. It's just batch painting is ugh, it's very it's fast. It is fast getting you know, you can getting forty models painted in like a week. I can do that. I can get forty garden. I can get forty get thirty realistically, I can get thirty garden painted in a week or always always the brush. If I do batch painting, I can get five done a night, every night without fail, and then I have, have like one day off. Um, but yeah, batch painting space which is difficult. Batch painting space which is really, really difficult. Um, because they've got a lot of detail on them. Guardsman models, you don't really appreciate it, especially Cadians. Pretty simple. Especially if you don't glue any of the extra bits on, if you, if you just have, you know, bodies and las guns. Um, you don't glue on like grenade pouches and stuff. Guardsmen are really, really quick to paint up. But Space Marines, they've got so many little bits and bobs on them that, you know, deserve attention that need painting up. It takes a long time. You know, you've got, you've got like 10 different designs of shoulder pad. I've got 10. Let's have a look at this. I've got one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, five different designs of unique black temper shoulder pad. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's just six, but it might be six to seven. Oh, that's it. Seven. Sorry. Seven. Different eight, sorry, <laughs> eight different designs of other shoulder pad. I mean, oh, sorry, nine. There's a couple of individual ones here. So yeah, so I've got eleven different shoulder pad designs for my space screens versus the one I have with the Imperial Guard. So yeah, and then don't forget I have like the the neophytes have got their own shoulder pads as well. So that's twelve. I have twelve different shoulder pad designs I essentially have to do for space screens. So it takes a long time. They're all different. They've all got little bits and bobs on them. And this is just on the ones I'm painting now. It doesn't even go into the fact that um, the other ones I've got painted up. That there's another three or four designs in there. I'd say in total across my Black Temper Army, there's about 15 different shoulder pad designs at least in use. It's pretty crazy that. That's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, that's just get. That's why batch painting Marines is so much harder than batch painting Guardsmen. And that's why. I think a lot of people don't do things with the black tide because they don't, they they, they can't bring themselves to painting a hundred, hundred marines up. But um, I am enjoying it. it. It's gonna look. It's they're all they're only black and white at the moment. These models and they're already looking amazing. They're gonna look absolutely fantastic when they're all finished. I mean, a hundred marines on the tabletop fully painted with all the intricate different des armor designs and everything. They're gonna look absolutely insane. And these black tide models put a lot of effort into them there's a lot of fluff behind it they've got a there's a huge there's, there's a huge mixture of power armor varieties in there um but it's 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 it's, it's mostly mark four and mark seven that's what i base the kits on. i've got mark four power armor from the horse heresy um and i've got mark seven the standard tactical marine set of armor that you get in the tactical box um but then i've got the black temple upgrade kit in there and that has its own unique there's loads of different unique designs in there as well especially for helmets loads of unique helmet designs so the point is like sort of the fluff behind my black Templar army and the reason why okay well there's two reasons why i did it that way one practicality um real world practicality you can go on eBay and you can buy squads of Mark IV Space Marines for about £15, which is really cool. It's re That's literally half price. 
So I that's I bought four boxes of those things. No, forty no thirty. Half of my marines. Half my marines are Mark IV and half of them uh well they're not pure Mark IV, they're all but what it is it's half of them I've got tw twenty twenty tactical marines are the ones that gains workshop sales today. Thirty of them are the Mark IV I got from eBay and ten ten are the really old school ones. The ones um I think when they got re released in third edition, because I had I knew someone that sold them to me for ten pounds. It's only ten tactical marines for ten pounds. That's a pretty good deal. Um brand new in box he just had them since like third edition um i had to like buy big bases for them and everything they were all like the wrong bases so basically by having those three different kits plus the black temple upgrade kit which gives you basically four different kits i mix and mash different designs all together and came up with some pretty unique looking power armor I'm not gonna lie there's some uh these marines are pretty unique looking they're marines at the end of the day but you know, you've got like a beaky helmet on a on a Mark IV body, for example, or you've got a uh, Mark Mark Seven helmet plus Mark uh, Seven uh, chest plate or Black Templar chest plate plus then Mark IV legs. And so you'll be thinking, well, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Um, but you're sort of wrong because in the fluff. I think it was Mark VI, so I'll be able to correct me if I'm wrong here, but in the fluff, I think it's Mark VI Power Armor was basically when they, they it was it was called Mark VI, but really it was just an absolute mix match of bits of Power Armor that they all stuck together. And Power Armor is quite modular, um, apart from like Thunder Warrior Armor, um, most sets of Power Armor are pretty interchangeable. And Chaos Space Marines, for example, have all sorts of bits of power armor because they just have to make do with what they can get. So how does this fit in from the fluff of my army? Why have I done this for the fluff? So well, practical athlete was obviously you know money it was financial you know building hundred marines you got to find a financial way of doing that. Um, and the but from the how have I justified that in the fluff? Well, the fluff is, is that my black tide is like a a brand new crusade. It's been raised in you know the black templars have seen the the great rift in the 40k universe they've seen chaos spilling forth and they are they are basically risen to meet the challenge and they have just in my my chap how my army works is i sort of the fluff behind it is chaplain lazarus who is the leader of my uh force he's the guy in the red cape at the top of this picture he was told he was charged his he'd been leading a crusade for a long time and his basically he was he was given him and his remaining sort of marines in his crusade there was like 10 15 20 marines left in his crusade force so like barely enough for two squads and he he was you know rewarded for his action you know rewarded he was basically said right you are now responsible you know the uh Hellbrack, you know lord high marshal Hellbrack was like right we need to raise more marines there's no two ways about this. We need to raise more Marines. We need to, uh, the Great Rift is coming, Chaos is coming, the End Times are here, and the Black Templars cannot be found wanting. The other fools who will limit themselves to the Codex Astartes, who won't do what needs to be done, that they're not going to help us. We need to raise more Marines. The Codex Astartes is causing us issues at this point. And so, Helbert was like, go forth. I'm giving you permission. I want you to go and lead and raise a new, fully new crusade. Okay, At, you know, and gain ex gain experience. But you you're gonna have you know, train your people on the battlefield. We're doing this old school Black Templar, and so Lazarus with his group, hardened group of uh, Marines, of veterans, um, have essentially raised this crusade from scratch. Um, 100 marines that's that that 100 marines plus support elements and so that's why in the army there's uh that's, that's how sort of with the black tide there's these 10 i've got these 10 crusader squads 10 10 man crusader squads so and each crusader squad is led by one of lazarus's veterans is led by a sword brother 
and they are showing the other marines and the neophytes they're sort of leading by example and so how this fits with the power armor is basically chaplain lazarus has had to beg borrow steal scrape together do whatever it takes to get as much power armor available on the field he's not fussy about the power armor as he, he doesn't care that it's not mark 10 primaris armor he doesn't care if it's mark 4 or mark 5 he doesn't even care if it's like it fits a mark 3 in there he doesn't care all he cares about is being able to get as much power armor onto the battlefield and that's why there's a huge amount of um, neophytes in the army as well because they are constantly raising and training raising and training go 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 he chapter master doesn't have time to fuck about he's got to get his crusade out there and start fighting chaos as quickly as possible and so that's he has a high attrition rate obviously but he is producing you know really hardcore he's not messing around with like the neophytes so it's like right you're a neophyte you've got some training under your belt let's get out there let's get you into a proper you know if you survive your first few battles get yourself in a suit of power armor bam and that's why we've got all these that's why the power armor is quite mixed and matched because essentially he's you know he's just getting whatever power armor he gets hands on that's not to say he's like no, the power armor isn't treated with reverence. No, this is still war gear. You know, look to your war gear. Trust your battle brothers. It's just a case of, it, you know, in real, in real, in real sort of, in theory, shall we say, in in theory, everyone had, wants to have the most perfect set of power armor. In reality, you take what you can get. You roll with the dice. You get whatever you can get, and so that's why. We've got you know older suits of power armor being pulled out and being issued to marines, um, and you know, you're still got to prove yourself to be a black templar. It's not like they're just grabbing a guardsman off the street, shoving some black car paint in his bum, and then uh, whacking a suit of power armor on and off he goes. No, like we're still training people properly. Yeah, you know, we're still they're still we've got to go through the full process. It's just we're just doing it. We're not messing around. We're not cutting corners. We've gone out there. We've got every suit of power armor together. We've got as many marines as we can together. We're, we're black tiding it. Absolute black tiding it. So that's the fluff behind my crusade. That is the fluff behind my crusade. Um, and I think it, I quite like it, to be honest. And that's, again, it explains why, you know, the, 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 the chapman has time to train up a lot of uh new recruits so you have the sword brothers who are showing the who are sort of leading the initiates and each ev pretty much i've got 40 neophytes and fi and 60 well i've got 40 neophytes and 50 initiates and then 10 sword brothers but the point is like basically basically every initiate has a neophyte because everyone is training like everyone is we're getting this crusade up to speed, essentially. So, that's the fluff. I guess I've, that's kind of Black Devil Friday. That's, I just guess I've chatted about um, the fluff behind our crusade. I think it's pretty cool. So, on that note, what kind of fluff, if any of sort of Black Templar guys out there, what is the fluff behind your crusades? Any Imperial Guard players out there, have you got any fluff behind a particular regiment or something? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I've got a video on this already about sort of fluff and background. Um, so you can either post your comments on that video or post on this one, whichever you prefer. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's definitely a bit more of a relaxed Black Templar Friday one. I, I went off completely off on a tangent, but that, that's the way that's the way, way it goes, I suppose. Um, man, I'm rhyming a lot tonight. I can't remember it was Black Tide getting size, and I can't remember what it was now, but anyway. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave lots and lots of comments. Tell me what you guys have been painting today. Hopefully it's a little bit more exciting than just painting uh, 30 shoulder pads. But tell me what you guys have been painting. And I'll see you guys next time.